Hey everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 25 years old man undergoes an excision of a pelvic chondral sarcoma. During the operation, the obturator nerve is sacrificed. Which of the following muscle is least likely to be affected as a result? So here are the key points uh, that the 25 years old man undergone excision of the pelvic chondrosarcoma and during this operation of the return nerve is sacrificed and they want to know that which muscle is least likely affected that means which, which is not the nerve supply of the obturator nerve that means which muscle don't receive innervation from the obturator nerve here are the options the options are adductor longus pectineus adductor magnus sartorius and gracilis so let's see the obturator nerve here we can see this is the obturator nerve here and it's located in the medial compartment or adductor adductor compartment of the thigh and it and just beside it we can see this is the femoral artery and femoral nerve and here we can see the name of the muscle this is the adductor longus then adductor brevis then gracilis so you can see this nerve is very closely related with these three muscles. So these three muscles will get the innervation from the obturator nerve. And we also can see here the obturator nerve, it is the anterior branch. So some other branch also be present. So other muscle also be supplied by this obturator nerve. So here we can see this is the obturator nerve. And this obturator nerve is arising from the lumbar flexus anterior branch. Then it passes through the iliac fossa and then it reaches the obturator foramen and finally reaches into the thigh and it supplies the adductor compartment or medial compartment of the thigh and here we can see gives some of the branches such as the anterior branch posterior branch and here's these three muscle again adductor longus adductor magnus and gracilis so this muscle also be supplied and in the second picture it is the most important picture and here it can see the all of the muscle is supplied by the this obturator nerve we can see the obturator nerve it arising from the lumbar 2 lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 spinal nerve anterior root and it passes through the sacroiliac joint then pelvis then here this is the obturator foramen and finally is into the adductor compartment then here we can see the five muscles and name of these muscles here we can see this is the adductor magnus adductor brevis adductor longus and also we can see there is the gracilis pectineus so these muscles these important five muscles and with the here we can see this is the here is a muscle which is the obturator externus so these six muscles are supplied by the obturator nerve again adductor magnus adductor brevis, adductor longus, gracilis, pectineus and obturator externus and obturator externus. So these six muscles are usually supplied by this obturator nerve and in this picture we also uh, again see the same pathway and it supplies the muscle here and here also it is clear that here first of all it is the adductor brevis then adductor longus then adductor magnus then we can see this is the gracilis muscle here this is the here also the this is the this nerve this is the obturator nerve and here another muscle obturator muscle and here another muscle that is the pectineus muscle so these muscles are supplied by the obturator nerve and this picture it is also important picture because it is the sensory supply area of the obturator nerve and in this picture we can see the all muscle supplied by the obturator nerve first of all adductor um, group of muscle adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus muscle then the gracilis obturator externus and pectineus so this muscle are supplied by the obturator nerve so our final answer this is the sartorius sartorius is not supplied by the obturator nerve and other options such as the adductor longus pectineus adductor magnus and gracilis they are supplied by the obturator nerve but the sartorius 
it is not supplied by the operator now thank you all